I'm Dr. Maynard of Sama Bariatric Surgery uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, bringing you a video today to talk about um, laparoscopic versus robotic uh, bariatric surgery. The main question is, what drives your success? Is it the surgery or is it the habits that you have and the new habits you develop? I believe that any surgery you do has the opportunity to get you to be successful and to achieve your goals. The question really becomes how many of the habits you have currently that you're going to change and will you maintain those changes over time? That said, let's talk about the differences between your laparoscopic and your robotic surgery. The key on this is either surgery will get you to where you want to go. So it's really a choice between the two and neither should be exclusionary. There are some advantages that bariatric surgery has when it's done laparoscopic and there's some advantages that you have when you do it robotically. My general preference is to do these robotically. Um, I look at robotics as a platform that allows you to do a much more consistent surgery. It allows you to do some things that you can't do easily um, laparoscopically. That said, the proficient laparoscopic surgeon can get accomplished the same operative procedure that I would be able to do robotically. Some differences between the two and this will be very general. When you're doing laparoscopic surgery, think of it as more of working through uh, with chopsticks. So your abdominal wall becomes sort of the angle at which you, your fulcrum from which you do most of your surgeries. Um, so you're doing your three-dimensional movements using the abdominal wall as a fulcrum. That does create um, some stresses at the abdominal wall, which can translate into pain both uh, after surgery and um, issues around that particular uh, area of the abdominal wall. The second part of it is when you're doing this uh, on the inside, you don't have the ability to uh, get around corners. You don't have the ability to bend at the wrist, so to speak. Um, where in an open procedure, you can use the wrist to get all the angles that you need in order to do the surgery as proficiently as possible. Now, that's one side of it. The second side is when you do your surgeries laparoscopically, um, there are certain areas, especially in, in small uh, areas where you're restricted. If you have to get up into the esophagus, um, around the esophagus into the mediastinum to be able to fix a hiatal hernia where the robotic uh, gives you a much better view and vision um, than you would laparoscopically. So there are some advantages to doing it on the, on the robot. Lastly, um, when you do robotic surgery, your platform is stable at the abdominal wall. So you don't get a lot of the movement and inflammation around that spot. Because your instrument is wristed and your vision is um, better on the inside, you have the ability to um, go an additional dimension with your instrumentation. All that said, the robotic platform gives you the ability, I believe, to do a more consistent operation with less pain and Overall, although the results are similar, I think you get there with a little less risk doing it robotically versus laparoscopic. If you have questions, please click the link below to come to the office and let's have a discussion about it. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.